When the sun rises in the east, it brings new hope and life. When it rises in zero, the land of the Apatanis, it becomes different. Because it rises in the land of mesmerizing beauty, the land of hardworking people, the land of preservative people, where every part of land and natural vegetation is preserved for productivity. This is the land where Dr. Hage Lothar was born, in Hari village of Apatani tribe in Zero Valley of Lower Subansari district, Arunachal Pradesh, India. Dr. Hage Lothar was born on the 31st of October 1950 to late Hage and Hage Yamung in Lakutulu clan of Tamantara family. Maintaining the utmost sincerity in life is difficult in this harsh world. Dr. Lothar is among the few people who could maintain such sincerity and show the meaning of living a beautiful life and follow a purpose of life which makes him a beautiful personality and a figure of inspiration to children, youth and elders. This is the story of Dr. Hage Lothar. Dr. Lothar was born during the initial period of modernization in Arunachal Pradesh, the then NEFA, when Indian government was exploring the interiors of Arunachal Pradesh after independence. His childhood period was dark and there was no availability of proper lights, roads, as modernization was yet to touch the Apatani Valley. It was in the stage where outsiders were visiting Zero, taking information about Apatani land and the government was slowly establishing developmental work in the valley. In 1953, for the first time, government had opened schools in different villages of Zero, including one at Biara, Hari village in Asmis Medium. Mr. Narang Tama tells how he was introduced to Hari school for the first time and how he tells his friend, Dr. Lothar, about the school and later on, he and Dr. Lothar gathered students for the school. The school had classes from Ko Sreni, Ko Sreni, Pratam Sreni, Dityo Sreni and Trityo Sreni, which is equivalent to KG1, KG2, Class 1, Class 2 and Class 3. There was no English and no mathematics subjects during the period. Hekawa paka aina pa ane pukon pukonala, 
The first bus students were taught in a kacha hut made up of bamboo wall and straw roof at Piara. During those days, parents would say, why wasting time in school when there is a lot of work to attend to like cultivation work in paddy fields, jungles and much more work to feed the families. Many children were not allowed to attend the schools by parents. Dr. Lothar's father, who was already familiar with the outsiders, favoured schooling of children and government's developmental plans. His father, who used to travel to Assam via Hugging Pudu, Hugging Root, for salt collection, knew the better position of Saab Babu who were educated. Even during Kure conflict, when Indian government was setting up administration camp in 1949, for the first time at a place called Kure between Hija and Talo. Some sections of Apatanis were against the government's policy. But Dr. Lothar's father liked government's policy as he had already observed the Halyans, plain people who had better position as Babus being educated and financial position during his tour to Assam for business and he used to tell the villagers not to be hostile to Halyans as they were not enemies Rather, they came to give us development. Our children will learn from them, attend school and later will become Saab Babus. But Apatani people attacked the camp set up by the Indian government. And in retaliation, entire Hari village was burned down by the administration as punishment. Though there were no lights, Dr. Lothar used to study his lesson at home using pine tree resin, sati, sometimes study with his doi ajing, a friend who sleeps together, Mr. Hagetayo, now a retired police officer. school primary school. Scholarship <laughs> Dr. Lothar's learning capacity in school was excellent and he was good in studies and was counted as one of the brilliant students. His father, who supported him, was the proud father who believed that Dr. Lothar will at least become a Saab Babu in future after learning from the school. He encouraged Dr. Lothar for studies and such encouragement gave Dr. Lothar a nice environment to focus on his studies. Dr. Lothar got merit scholarship from class 1 to class 3 and class 4 to 6 by clearing the board scholarship test conducted by board examination of NEFA. His friend Hagitayo also got scholarship in class 1 to 3. After passing class 3 from Hari School, Dr. Hagel Lothar joined class 4 at Suluya High School, Old Zero. Here, they learned English alphabets, ABC, for the first time. This was the only high school in Zero Valley where all students from different villages came to pursue further course. Though Dr. Lothar was a happy son, 
who had such a supportive father, but he had to adjust life's difficulties as there was not enough food to feed themselves in comparison to other people. Though he was very small, but he used to help his parents along with his siblings in paddy fields, in jungle work, and brought firewood so that their house was kept warm and food could be cooked. He used to go to the jungle early in the morning or in the evening, just after classes were over. Most of his collected firewood were given to neighbors in exchange for rice. During food scarcity, they had to feed on boiled green vegetable leaves and pumpkin. Laji jai lodar hanya nunu anu aban akinta sanye make mularo hamami jalo gonte gonte derato haman dene babu yasuke. Dr. Lothar was from the first batch of students from Hari School to attend Suluya School in Class 4. Here, he met new friends from different villages, including Hari School friends. His bad students' friends were Hage Tayo, late Tasogyut, late Dusutari, all from Hari School, late Rubutana, late Habung Mubi, late Duyuranka from Reru School, and late Michitatung from Hija School. This school was also an asthma's medium with two subjects included, that is English and mathematics, as additional subjects. During 1960, high school Suluya was shifted to Hapoli from Old Zero. During the period in August 1960, the headquarters also shifted to Hapoli from Old Zero. In the year 1961, after passing class 6, Dr. Lothar and his friends also shifted to Zero Higher Secondary School, Hapoli, in Class 7. Here also, they were the first batch of students in a newly opened school. His batch friends were Hage Tayo, Taso Bida, Rubu Koyang, Late Michi Tatung, Late Rubutana, Gocham Talar, Taba Kappa and Tau Chili, etc. During 6th standard, Dr. Lothar had faced very sad news about his mother's death. He even could not see her dead body as he was in medical case and was out of village referred to Dibrugar, Assam for treatment. ajitana <laughs> Hello, 
anohene. During 1962, there arose some administration problems in school due to which the school had to shift to Doimuk temporarily from zero. Dr. Loder also came to Doimuk and joined in class 8. This was the time when China attacked India. Class 8 of Purila do Merit Scholarship All India ka ko competitive examinations dot la ho ngo mo bon hiko ngo paila meo college o iribu meo college o in the merit scholarship pai o ngo meo college o all india ka best public school of puri ala a 1963 o puri a during national scholarship test examination even from zero, many students had attempted for scholarship examination, out of which Dr. Lothar got selected and was awarded scholarship to study in Mayo College, Ajmer, Rajasthan. Dr. Lothar joined Mayo College, Ajmer in 1963. He was admitted in Class 6. Later on, seeing his performance, he was upgraded to Class 7. Hence, he was admitted to complete his higher secondary school at Mayo College for five years course from class 7 to class 11. Mayo College was established by Lord Mayo, Viceroy of India. It was actually made for Rajput students during British rule in India. After Indian independence, it was made a public school. During the period, there were only three public schools in India. Among them, Mayo College was the best school, second came the Dune School, and third, the Sindhya School. All India Merit Scholarship for Mopailala, Mayo College of Iril, Hoka Ilio, the Tampa Institute in Lamunu, in Kamanu, Moya, Ado in Kayamanu, Lokimpur, Tola, Doimuklos and Tosunu. Ho Ingu, Nim teacher Ako Ingu, Jogot Buruala, Assamish teacher Akonga the Ingu. Ho Sisi Henka Kokele. Nini take Purok rail garipa hart pendo. The first live oka rail garipa paka the pakanu. Take Purok rail garipa harla Delio harat. Delio rail garioc station of la hotel of Pangini Goragari Tangapa har. Oh, I owe a hotel of Imitella. Oh, my colleague Ajmiro, Rapaki train pa hara. Ajmiro hara pula tare railway station no ku Rapangini Tangagari pa Goragari pa hara my colleague jo hara the. Oh, my colleague jo hara pula huko ka principal mi kapala. Oh, kapala la ni test la ka kendo la. Mohu Tespa in O Tes Mutela Lim Kukele Ungaka Sarming or Kapakumalina. O Hanja English Chinjima, Hindi Chinjima, Asamit Agun Consent Cheese Don. Hongo Kaikas of Kulala, non Sare in the Kunatamich Kunala, Mohuahua do Kela, her cane in Sijal Mohu Hem Padora, her cane mea Kaita would look like a cane in Sijal and her hand Dora. He had never travelled outside Arunachal and it was really uncomfortable and difficult at Mayo College in the initial period for him. Oh, come here, Diane Diane Dala, her Agumi language, me, Hikikula, English, Hindi, Chiliko. Only me, her class six of admission, been me, class seven, only me, jump, my chakula, chakula. Oh, do go tango, coda, and per ayane. Rajasana Dubusudo Jalo, or Gubudol Tagona, and Pamapa, Dukotakoka as in the Gotagoka as in the environment to as in the Omi Wataka as in the Mono Ajiho Adamo, adjustment of Kula, hung her and Kakumpadato and Ipadato. Apart from his studies, Dr. Lothar was very fond of physical activities and always excelled in games and sports at Mayo College. Since childhood, Dr. Lothar was very active in sports. 
It is said that right education starts in early childhood. He always loved games and sports activities. Such activities helped Dr. Lothar to continue his sports in his youth. He threw bamboo made javelins at nice length and loved to run as he was fastest among his friends. He played football and hockey for Mayo College 11 team and also represented the Rajasthan State Junior Football Team. He was reigning senior boys champion in the college sports competition consecutively for three years from 1964 to 1966. He won many trophies and certificates at Mayo College. Dr. Lothar was also selected as college monitor. He also joined National Cadets Corps at Mayo College Ajmer. Dr. Lothar was awarded Vice Admiral's All-Round Improvement Trophy in Mayo College for his excellent all-round educational activities in studies, games and sports. And at last, he completed higher secondary schooling from Mayo College Ajmer, Rajasthan with much honour and admiration. After passing higher secondary school in science, biology from Mayo College Ajmer, he joined MBBS study at Bangalore Medical College, Mysore, for pre-medical onward. During his college, as usual, he participated in college sports competitions and won many trophies. He also played football for the college team and also played for the university team. He also joined NCC at Bangalore College as under officer. During his study at Mayo College, the entire expenditure was borne via the national scholarship by the government. It was his hard work that he himself earned these scholarships and never burdened his parents for any expenditure. While studying in Bangalore Medical College, he received stipend of rupees 150 from the government of Arunachal Pradesh. The stipend amount was not enough to meet his daily expenses, so his elder brothers came and helped him. Dresser per dutela, mono health department to retirement mula kula sasi kumitsi do. After completion of MBBS course from Bangalore, he went to Shillong and faced an interview for service. He joined as junior medical officer JMO in 1975 on ad hoc basis and was posted at his hometown, Zero Lower Subansari District. Later on, he got regular appointment as junior medical officer in All India Services Cadre, Central Health Service, CHS, through UPSC. Dr. Lothar became the first doctor from the undivided Subansari district and also the first doctor from the Apatani community. He joined his regular service on 21st November 1975. During his service at Zero, he realized that people were very reluctant to come to the hospital for treatment. So he went home to home to ask people to come to the hospital for child delivery and also for other medical treatments. Deliver me mutila moto. Mi watami hospitalo 
deliver pa ing to treatment me apa MO atami hospital ing to te lamu luto milo ka bilo order lu amar order aku maram pa ka atang ka patient atang hospital ing milo doctor atang han han din ni mo lo ka language me mo lo lu ko lu chin chin pa be mar hala be mar do hala he do la lu ko lu chin chin pa o Doktor tare tanya agung lu cimas ni na hanya miwa dia semis hindi miwa dia cimni. Home yu kone kompalsori mun ceka ka ica hanya agung lu lana etenden ta ko pesen ing do pa jine. Kendo order aku le molu tanu anyam pa ri tanu yo ka aka tanu te order mi yo e pros mu te kola ho mo ka ato ka be mar hena ka mi lu kolu ji lu kola kula nu heru do order tare ka tami order ka lu mi te molu. Tarala hela de romi tampa de kindo de wotang mi te tama nyomalo hampa tarala kula ho ho bida do ho bida pa ine moa oto a kula mane ka de jiro so lo sabis mala po nya ho sepi to lo bida ke le hela ga ando ho bida ne ho bilo ako pa ka problem yash yash problem ya hempa a ka dri mutu mutu mala ka muli ho dri time time ho ho daru ho no muda no yash ka cho ho tam problem ho ku pa ngo Nencanya anda riso, melaja ko sukung ko betul betul dono, heka sukung atau ngo draw alatala, dri amarampa, dri matalio, ko daru hotel le matalio sukung dono atau bilo sukungnya si adi sentang sunu, pai pes ni aman ini, draw alatala ngo moto, hingga ka mana aje, doktor padu lagu servis public pakar servis, nanti mana muncul daru 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 ngo Later, he was posted at Raga Circle from zero. While he was posted at Raga, he applied and pursued public health and administration (DPH) from All India Institute of Hygiene and Public Health, Kolkata (AIIH) and PH. After completion of diploma in AIIH and PH from Kolkata, he joined as district TB officer at Pasigat, East Siang District, Arunachal Pradesh. Pasigat or district TB officer, but who? Person at time ka kabu ke liye TB person at time nu ba pe drose mi dut mama pa achi ati ati ro nu hain ke liye. Treatment itu hampir lomba anola konvensional treatment itu langun lo do. Dua bulan sudah lepa tangan treatment lado. Heka romi he lala mepa kami omolu opanya nyala romi dijama pa roni rohi mula arkula acir kucir kuala treatment mudah lama je lado ne. Oh heka time mo ni tipa Short course chemotherapy la start mirigi ng mga India o tayo foreign o already matukul daw ko. Huwag mo ngo ng mga state government mi convince mo la lihila lula ng mga orna chot sa tesa ka pesin at ang simi short course chemotherapy sa bikasa. Ano kosto niya daw kay dui boso treatment lalama pa kay si opa opa niya la. Rony 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 at ako ako patient do reinfection muko do nula nula la request mula ng hampa ay apa ka example ka kina mula la short course chemotherapy mi ng time mo so ano chalo ng ano start muri mo. After serving three years as district TB officer at Pasigat, he was transferred to General Hospital Naharlagan. When he was working at General Hospital Naharlagan. All his doctor colleagues felt the need to have a doctors' association, and he was made the first general secretary of Arunachal Pradesh Doctors' Association, APDA. When Arunachal atok keda ni ma, Central Health Service ka keda rosong ano? Hu keda pas kam niya dulos dun. O state food ngun ko hoy doctor, atok keda dot kuribol lagi lahal 
Muribula Mohu lead Mugula Munu Ornatal Health Kedars Mingun Muri Mo Ornatal Health Kedar Kamilio Abdal Ornatal Protest Doctor Association Muribula Mo General Secretary Paduribu Doctor Golek Yomcha President Padurila Ho Munu Siska Ornatural Health Service Don Si Mul Dara Pasu, Muk Dara Pasu Burigusun. Dor Matara Bilo Hempel Lamane, Central Health Service Ka, equivalent Dormamitimunu Biropa. Oh time bound Doctor Atami promotion Biropa Murigala Hum. Dr. Lothar has served as medical officer in various districts in Arunachal Pradesh. As junior medical officer at District Hospital Zero, from 22nd November 1975 to 23rd April 1979. As Medical Officer at Raga Health Unit from 24th April 1979 to 27th July 1981. Again as Medical Officer at District Hospital Zero from 28th July 1981 to 9th November 1981. as District TB Officer Pasigat for three years from 30th November 1981 to 17th May 1984. As Senior Medical Officer General Hospital Naharlagan from 18th May 1984 to 30th May 1988. As State Epidemiologist General Hospital Naharlagan from 31st May 1988 to September 1989. As District Medical Officer, Lower Subansari District 0, from September 1989 to March 1991. As Joint Director, Health and Family Welfare, DHS, H&FW, from April 1991 to 23rd April 1997. As Joint Director, Establishment from 24th April 1997 to 2000. Come Project Director, Arunachal Pradesh, State AIDS Control Society from 17th November 1999 to 2005. As Joint Director, NLEP, Leprosy from 2005 to 2007. He became a member of Medical Council of India with effect from 16th December 2007. He was promoted to Director of Health Services on 1st April 2007 served one and a half years and took superannuation on 31st October 2008. During his final promotion, he had faced promotional deprivation. He was denied to be upgraded to the post of Director of Health Services, DHS, for which he had to fight for his right through court and was promoted to Director of Health Services on 1st April 2007. When he was asked, who suggested you to take up the medical profession, he would say, no one, but he himself decided to become a doctor in future. hospital hospital admission Dr. Hage Lodar married Srimati Hage Munya on the 9th of July 1976 just after one year from the date of his joining service. The marriage was solemnized under the traditional system. Before approaching the bride, chicken liver was checked by the priest for the right partner in a successful marriage life. Later on, Mabo Inchi was performed. This is the process where the groom approaches the parents of the bride and thus marriage was consented. They have two sons and two daughters. Eldest daughter, Dr. Hage Sonia, is working as radiation oncologist TCC Trims, who is married to Sri Yumnam Vijay. They have two daughters and one son. 
Second daughter, Hage Radha, is working as district extension educator in Directorate of Family Welfare. Married to engineer Nani Oppo, they have two daughters and one son. Eldest son, Hage Napa, a businessman, is married to Srimati Koj Renu. They have two daughters. Youngest son, Hage Apa, is also a businessman. Hello, Jalo, I'm going to go to Bosor. 44 years. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Heru kedua pala solo jalan gonggeng itu luma. Oh, heru mian meter mau ke ngak anak ada meh so ngingi ke solo tak kena ah mau ke anu pa mau ke anu ni aku mana ah anu pa anu meter he apa ngak anu meh ni ke mau ah. My name is Yumna Vijay. I'm son-in-law of Dr. Hage Lodar and husband to Dr. Hage Sonia. Ours is an intercaste marriage and uh, our father-in-law has accepted our marriage wholeheartedly, uh, which uh, normally intercaste marriage is not acceptable in most of the part of, uh, but uh, our father-in-law has accepted our relationship and we are very grateful for that. For my father-in-law, uh, he is a tall uh, figure in his profession. Uh, when I was working as social worker or activist, uh, whenever there was a meeting or an orientation program, we could feel his presence. He used to have a huge presence uh, and he had a very um, amazing uh, public speaking skills at the same time after the meeting or before the meeting. Uh, he used to have one-to-one -one interaction, trying to understand each member or individual. I have learned humility from my father-in-law. Whenever his grandchildren come to uh, come here, he'll cook for them. And uh, whenever we are enjoying, uh, he'll pour drinks for us. And uh, he does this every time, very consistently, which shows his humbleness and care. Aha hemper ayah dona, aha mau hemper si da, ho, ho ka, selo jalo ngaji mana, kang, mau ka, tapi ayah pakat tonser hemi la kami, oh mika tonser hemi ko, ho ngono ka, mau ka luko luko tala, oh, oh atang ter, ho ngono luko luko tala, mau bogo bogo ni yang si da, ah. Hela engkau duko pa, ngaji, harus mahu tu turut suri injalo ngaji milo atau ngaji injo kita lah. Oh, silong oh injalo ing Kolkata injalo ing Bombay injalo ing Kapako eh mahu kat turi ingko ingko injo kita lah. Oh, hela macam apa? Every time he always tells us to work hard because he always says that there is no substitute to hard work. If one has to stand on their own feet, he or she has to really work hard. So we have uh, learned this um, from him. And he also says that uh, we have to respect time because once time lapses, then it never comes back. He always motivates us and encourages us in our life's experiences. Even our failure, he takes it positively and uh, with, uh, our, uh, he takes it for positively and encourages us every time. Uh, as a doctor, I would say that he is very dedicated and very caring towards his patients. And he's been a role model for me. And uh, what I have seen is that uh, he has given utmost care to his patient and uh, um, every time whenever he sees patient, he treats all the patient equally. 
so uh, in re in reciprocation of that he gets respect so this thing i have since uh, seen from my childhood days and it has motivated me to become a doctor myself and uh, i would also like to say that uh, sometime decision becomes very difficult for us at the difficult time i always keep myself in my father's place and i always think that what would he say and what would be his decision so whenever i think in that way so my decision is uh, good because sometimes it so happen that i take rash decisions also and uh, i would also uh, tell one more thing that every time we have always come to my father for uh, any suggestions or any uh, advices since uh, we have been coming to him and till now we are coming to him for advices and i would say that as a daughter not only me but my siblings my sisters and my brothers they also be proud to be his children nuka ava akala do contact plan nuka doctor ji to kul ka do ko sikso na logo mala ho nuka vishesh mo nyang ya ke hoto la nuka ava nuka o atam mangaje mi ka patela aka kula mo sene ko mo nuka aju anu mala mi che de te kula ama ya no no de pa ma Aba mi nuka anu anani opini mo ani agio aba so du te mal kar lo in jiro du la mo ani sulo ne ko Apart from his medical professional life Dr Lothar contributed a lot of his life for the society He was the founder general secretary of Doctors Association called Arunachal Pradesh Doctors Association APDA He was the founder chairman of the Apatani Career Guidance Forum ACGF He was the founder president of Tanna Supuduku TSD Dr Lothar received Vice Admiral's All-Round Improvement Trophy in Mayo College Ajmer a silver medal of Duke of Edinburgh award in games and sports a scheme for the Commonwealth countries Lifetime Achievement Award of Arunachal Pradesh Doctors Association APDA 2016 For Bilok ka program do na ta family welfare program malaria program leprosy program TB program hala do ne ko ta ka pa ko e gono ka pa ne mi implement mo do men no tampa mane mo kindo la hala han mi o so ka oral police polio polio drop in mangmi no time no ngun ka to time o family well pero ka ka do start ngun morito o bilo ho jalo sis jalo ka hendo ni tasias jasmi ichuche aya pa mane public mi watam luko to ka akendo bilo ada sukun ko to sukun ya star no sis che che पाइपेस पाई हाँ को ले मदल जो जो हो जलो पासी मैंने पोर्टेबल यासी मास दारा पा डायर डिसेंट्री ले आनो मुदो हूनू डॉक्टर लुको तो को मैंने यासी मी जेने को मैंने बोल मु तोल सुन लुक के हमी मैंने प्रोग्राम पॉलिसी सेपरेट पर गवर्नमेंट माला तो को अबसुलू प्योर फिल्टर यासी तानुपापु मुक्की सुन कि हमी मुदपार टक पैसा उरो लगे न गवर्नमेंट तर मुखालन में टाइम स्पेशलिस्ट तर यहाँ मान रान काम आको स्पेशलिस्ट पर दुआस नहीं मुनु आउटपोस्ट इला ऐसे मतलब काटे लाइक इन तो न का रागा माँ कं का न का पोस्टिंग में तो दो वो हफ्ता कम ही रोंगे पुआसिम लाओ ये गुनो काई तो कैसे काई तो ये गवर्नमेंट पौड़ा भी मस्त न का हैं को मुहल मुल मतो वो ही नौ लोगों पर कहें तो न 
Mingo atu konku sab kai pali masuki. Aro atu moche ka aro atu te lila kings loke. Puri saniami mula ayapa puri totka musiman distance maniami mula de tampa. On nekan no mane kam arlepa sanchi nekan e kostopa muchi porahinami. Huka uporoske, ato uporoske, mi hangja tonsoke mulana, sarisijalo matro, kakinusuke, lena kakinusuke no atoske, atomi, mi mulasukin don, huku pa, sunyan seloka, sanjani himi atami munu, enmen o atami telujo, suka, o yashika, draska ata, no no atkali, birsugudu talaka, muna atami, humi mula, Kayo, Kapayo, Hem de Tayo, Hem de Dula, the Poison Pacelodon, Lidon, Poyota, Hemidun, Mulila Kemake, Achilla, Sakindoke, Hutami, a boy mototaka, Lihapora Modola, Heladula Mimuto, Nasgan Mimuto, Extra Calicalami, Humuko Ayadoke, Hoka Nu Huka, Heladula. No interest la mula do ko da pora huna bahire osuka distance man ni mita henga ke makela muluk lui bilo akata mane lema mi akata ato ka hime o mi school puri puri pa injalo pa school okla han kam ke kima ni pa school in pa aja pe mo do la te ko ta mo te ki do school ila ar dorian in pa se pa ali ala ni aso do la ni do du pa la in kenen te ma like me, no, 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 Pinu Pukomo, Pinu Putola, the Poro Mapa, Milo, La Chicom Pago, DHS Pajitela, Susi Retail in the Poo, Hongo Susi, Nuka, Family Agio, O Atagio, O Asiata Agimi, Capaculala, Ano Hem Propago. Doctor Hagi Loder says his biggest achievement in life is his family. He loves his family and satisfies his retired life after rendering long service to people in his professional life. The nature that provides life has to be lived and the very purpose of life is to live without any trouble. Dr. Lothar has really shown a lively example for purposeful living which is truly inspirational. This is the life story of a doctor from whom we can take lessons. He is Dr. Hage Lothar, an inspirational living personality to everyone who knows him.